Hi guys, today I'd like to show you The Everyday Witch Oracle by Deborah Blake with artwork by Elizabeth Alba. This is an amazing deck. It's published by Llewellyn. It has a lovely hard box and I can't wait for y'all to see. This is the back of the box. You have the little thumb holes, to, you know, take it apart so it's not hard to pull apart. It's a beautiful purple inside the box. It comes with a small guidebook. My particular deck is a first edition, first printing from 2019. This is the contents, how to use the deck, how the cards are divided, how the cards progress, the sample spreads, and then the cards. What's really interesting about this deck is that it is a 40 card deck, but it is divided into sections according to earth, air, fire, and water. And it describes to you how the cards are divided. It also tells you how the cards progress. Of course, we have some sample spreads. This is one card. It also has two and three card spreads. Now then we go to the cards. The first section is Earth. The next section is Air. The third section is Fire. And the last section is Water. Something else about this deck that I really like is that it doesn't just give you the basic divination meaning. It tells you a little bit about the card and it gives you an action that is associated with the card. Divination. And the magic associated with the card. And I think that's just unique and refreshing. I really like that a lot. Now then, let's take a look at this amazing deck. I'm so excited and I hope you all enjoy it. I absolutely love the artwork. It is beautiful. This is Connect with Gaia. And it's stunning. You see the standing stones in the back and you see the roots coming up from the ground. She is connecting with Earth. And, of course, there's a kitty with her arms stretched upward. It's just, it's beautiful. Here we have another earth card. Meditation to dig deep. And you see a man, not just women in the deck, depicted. And he is digging deep in the earth. We see some crystals. We see his puppy helping. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I love this one. Earth magic. Absolutely stunning. We have the full moon. It's at night. We have her at her altar outside with her cats. And you see her performing her type of earth magic. It is beautiful. This is one of my favorite cards from the air section. Gratitude and thanks. This woman is clearly happy grateful and giving thanks for everything that she has been receiving wonderful in her life. Even her little kitty's happy with his full bowl of milk. You know, she has a plenty of everything. The butterflies, symbolism, the crown of flowers. She is happy. Wonderful card. Absolutely gorgeous. Another air card. Learn from life. We see a young witch about to take flight. Where they've clearly been studying. There's books. There's spell books. You see an elemental sign. You see the teacher's arm on the outside. Welcoming them out of the room. And you know into the world. And of course you see the cat in the background. I like this card a lot. Another amazing card. We see a witch transforming. And changing. Before our eyes. Um. We see two cats. We see butterfly symbolism. 
we see the magic coming off as if he is transforming from the dark to the light. This is an amazing card. This is a card from the fire section. Give in to passion. You see her playing her instrument with such passion. Of course, more symbolism with the butterflies. You see the little cat swiping at the butterflies and the salamander by her dress. Another salamander up in the path. The color of her dress and the way it hangs symbolizes fire. Amazing card. Follow your dreams. In this card, we have... It looks like a lynx looking in a crystal ball at another cat, which is adorable. We see a young witch... About to take flight out the window at night. I believe they could be following their passion. A lot of candles. There's a lot of symbolism. The artwork, again, I can't say stunning enough. It is beautiful. And another fire card. Joy and delight. I can't think of a more joyful card than this. We have a woman, clearly happy as she does her cartwheels. We have the kittens and the puppy playing. We have a picnic in the background with the bottle of wine and the hat. She's happy. Everything's abundant. Things are going really well. And she is celebrating her happy, joyful, and delightful life. Just as I am. This is one of the water cards. Cleansing body and spirit. You see our witch in the tub taking a relaxing bath. See your hat in the corner, of course, and the, the symbol for water. You also see a mother cat cleaning her baby, giving it baby a bath. And we have the besom, a lot of symbolism. Great card. Another water card. Go with the flow. The smile on the cat's face alone makes this perfect. You see, she's left the oar behind. She's just letting herself go. She is completely happy. And in the perfect place in her life. And she is just letting life take her where it wants her to go. That is a wonderful, wonderful thing to do. And I really love this card. A lot of symbolism. It's fantastic. And the last card I'm going to show is Tears of Joy and Sadness. What you see in the mirror is what she's trying to portray to the world. This is me speaking from just looking at it. You know, she's smiling. She's holding her cup. Even the cat's smiling. But in reality, she's not happy at all. And her cat's not either. This is kind of reminds me of the masks that people wear. This is a great card. A lot of symbolism. And, of course, you know, the tear designs on the dress. Lovely. This is the backing of the card. It's absolutely adorable and it's really good card stock as well. I hope y'all enjoyed this little video about Everyday Witch Oracle and I will speak with you guys again soon. Bye for now.